How you going? This is Dr. Amadari, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a drain stitch. Let me just orient you real quick. This is going to be the skin here, and this green string is going to be our drain. I call this stitch the EZL drain stitch for several reasons. One is that it's named after Dr. EZL, the interventional radiologist at Tulane who taught this to me. Um, second is because it's easy. It's hopefully the last drain stitch you'll ever need to know. And third, the technique involves forming um, a bunch of uh, L shapes, which you'll see later. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is take your suture and tie it to the skin. You can do this one-handed, two-handed, it doesn't matter, whatever you're more comfortable with. The important thing to know is that you don't want these to be super tight. Um, in fact, this is the only time in surgery that I know of where bubble knots are okay. Uh, three or four knots should do. Sometimes when you start you can even leave a needle driver or any other instrument underneath the knots just to prevent you from cinching it down uh, super tight on the skin. So we've tied our string to the skin. Next you're going to take your drain and drape it over the top. Now the old drain stitch that I knew involved taking these strings and wrapping them around several times trying to keep it tight, um, trying to make it look real nice and tying a, you know, overhand knots here and there it just got really confusing and, and hard to keep straight. Um, the stitch I'm about to show you is a lot easier and it involves just one side at a time. So we're going to start with the left side. And we're going to form an L with this. An L underneath the drain. So you're going to take the top, stick it through the loop you created, and cinch it down to the knot. And again, you don't want to pull this super tight because you don't want to occlude the drain. And we're going to tie three knots on each side. So that's one. Again, form the L. There's two. And you can either tie the L um, for all of these knots, or if you're comfortable tying one-handed knots, you can even tie a one-handed knot around the drain for all three of these. Whatever you do, you want to tie three knots on each side. So we've got one, two, three on the left. We're going to move over to the right side. Same thing. This time you're going to form a backwards L. Stick it through the hole and cinch it down. You don't want to cinch it down on top of the knots you already tied. You want it to lie right next to it. So there's one. There's two. And again, if you're comfortable with the one-handed knot, you can tie all of these with one hand if you'd like. Alright, so now we've tied our drain to our knots and the last part we just want to secure our free ends and we're going to tie these together on top. You can do this one-handed, two-handed, again it doesn't matter whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, just like before, you don't want these to be really tight because you don't want to occlude your drain. And three or four knots in this case should do just enough to to keep it from unwinding. And that's it. That's the easy L drain stitch. It's quick, it's easy, it looks pretty, and it holds really well, allowing all that nasty stuff to drain out. Now speaking of nasty fluids, here's your camel fun fact for the day. Camel's urine can be as thick as syrup because they retain water really well. Pretty cool stuff. So there's your camel fun fact, um, as well as the EZL drain stitch. Pass it along to your friends, check out my other videos, and thanks for tuning in. Good luck.